A, a particle moves along a straight line. Its velocity, t second, after passing through a fixed point is given by, so we have our V here, find initial acceleration of the particle. So you see here what happened is, so like the previous question, we have S, we have V, we have A. So V to A is dV over dV over dt. Okay, this one to the front here, this one is ds over dt. So here is integration, this one is integration. Okay, now we have V and then we want to find acceleration. V to acceleration is differentiation dV over dt. So here V is equal to 8t minus t square. A is equal to dV over dt. So when we differentiate 8t, we get 8. When we differentiate negative t square, so 2 multiply with negative 1 because t is actually 1 t square minus 2t. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So we ended up with this one. This is our A. Okay, initial acceleration. So what is the initial acceleration when it first starts? So it starts where at t is equal to 0. So t is equal to 0. A is equal to 8 minus 2, 0. So, this is equal to 8 meter per second square. B, acceleration when the particle stop instantaneously. So, stop instantaneously means V is equal to 0. So, what is the time when V is equal to 0? So, we can find acceleration at that time. So, here when V is equal to 0, 8 t, okay, sorry, v is equal to 8t minus t square. So, 0 is equal to, we can take out t, 8 minus t. So, we know that t is equal to 0 and then 8 minus t is equal to 0, t is equal to 8. There is 2, right? And we can see that second time because it started when v is equal to 0. So, t is equal to 8. So, acceleration when it stop at the second time. So, a is equal to, so the formula is here. 8 minus 2t, right? So when t is equal to 8, a is equal to 8 minus 2 8. So here we have 8 minus 16. So here we have negative 8. So this one is acceleration meter second negative 2. See the time when the velocity is uniform. So you know that why we do differentiation because actually you can get a from the gradient of velocity so we know that velocity in constant so the gradient is zero or a is equal to zero so when a is equal to zero what is the time so this is what the question one so when a is equal to zero so here we have a is equal to eight minus two t zero is equal to eight minus two t two t is equal to eight t is equal to eight divided by two which is equal to four second so we see here time in second when velocity is uniform, t is equal to 4.